Okay, you see me do a few pickup tests in, in I think at least two, maybe all of them, I use my iPad and also my iPhone. Today I'm just going to use my iPad and the reason why is because I have a different type of puzzle and I want you to be able to focus on the puzzle itself and not so much me worrying about whether I lay it down properly. Now before I pick it up I want to show you this is a prime 3D puzzle um, from a company called Puzzler and you can see by the box that it's a 3D image. So I was curious whether or not it, this would translate to the puzzle itself. And it does. Furthermore, furthermore, the company has dozens of puzzles. Marvel, uh, what's the, I uh, can't remember the uh, competing company. Dinosaurs, ocean, animals, you name it, they have puzzles. Between 150 pieces to 500 pieces. Now, as somebody who prefers 1,000 piece puzzles, that's what I was looking for on the website. But I didn't find any, and I'm kind of glad I didn't after this experience. And the reason why is because they're complex puzzles. Utterly enjoyable, but complex puzzles. So I am going to pick it up easily, and I'm going to back up so that you can hopefully see the effect that I want you to see. So it is called Great White Shock, obviously. I'm going to move my chair out of the way. Okay, have I backed up enough? Can you see the 3D effect of this jigsaw puzzle? I'm only 5'5", five, five, so raising it high enough for the camera and to keep me in the camera can be a bit challenging, but I don't have any confidence in laying it down, so that's why I'm really not worried about having a second camera. Um, it's a beautiful puzzle. I am going to be working as an affiliate with the company and I definitely highly recommend these puzzles. I do have a second one that I'm about to assemble in the next half hour or so or begin assembling and I'm very, very pleased with the puzzle. So thanks for watching.